Now that we've finished our turkeys, we're going to make the rest of our Thanksgiving Day decoration. We're going to make horns of plenty. A horn of plenty is this woven basket in the shape of a horn. It's meant to hold fruits or vegetables or nuts. It's meant to show that you have a lot and that you have a lot to be thankful for. And that's important to remember right now. Even though things are weird right now and we need to have school online, we still have a lot to be thankful for. I'm going to use all of my scrap paper that I've been making other projects out to make my horn of plenty. But you use whatever paper you have. If you have your scrap paper, now's a pr pretty good time to use some of it up. So I'm going to cut um, a square of paper out. I'm going to use this brown. Um, yours can be, it doesn't have to be the same size as mine. It's just whatever scrap paper you have, any kind of paper will work. And I'm going to decorate it first. I am going to make lines so it will look like a basket when I um, roll it up into my horn of plenty. I'm going to make both vertical and horizontal lines. It's okay if they're a little wavy. They don't have to be straight. Now I'm going to roll up my paper into a cone to make my horn of plenty. I'm going to use my glue stick to make it stick. I'm going to use enough. I'm going to use it on the whole side of this paper so when I roll up my horn of plenty into a cone, into a horn shape, it'll stick and stay together. Now I'm going to make a placemat to uh, set my horn of plenty on. I'm just going to cut another, another rectangle in one of my pieces of scrap paper that I've used for other projects. It doesn't have to be super big, but just big enough to put your horn of plenty and your turkey on. Now I'm going to decorate it. You can decorate it however you want. You can use whatever you want. Um, I'm going to make mine symmetrical. That means it's going to be the same on both sides. But you choose how you want to do it. If you want to try symmetrical, that might be a nice challenge. Some of you may have heard that word before. After I have my placemat done, I'm going to put some glue down on it, and I'm going to glue down my horn of plenty on top. I am also going to save room on my placemat so it has room for my turkey right next to my horn of plenty. Now I'm going to fill my horns of plenty with things I'm thankful for. I drew some pictures on some old scrap paper. I drew a cheeseburger because I'm thankful that I have enough food to eat. I drew my house because I'm thankful that I have a roof over my head. I drew a picture of my family and I drew a paintbrush because I am thankful I get to have art. I also drew a computer and it has zoom on it because I am thankful that I still get to talk to all of you. Now I'm going to cut them all out. Once all of my objects that I'm thankful for are cut out, I am going to put them in my horn of plenty because these are things that I have a lot of that I should be thankful that I have a lot of. I should be thankful that I have all of these things in my life. And here it is, my table centerpiece. I hope you like making yours. Gobble, gobble.